Books Unplugged would like to present Grapes of Wrath. <laughs> <laughs> Unplugged Adaptation for your delectation Now books unplugged Here with Ted and Dan Books unplugged Page to screen and in between Books unplugged Which would you destroy? Hi there, I'm Ed I'm Dan Welcome to Books Unplugged, the show where we uh, look at a book that's been turned into a movie and uh, discuss it Kind of, yeah. Today yeah. we're talking about The Grapes of Wrath. The Grapes of Wrath uh, is the story of the Jodes. Uh, it's basically a convicted murderer who would do it again, uh, mm-hmm. who gets out of prison, finds that his family's on their way to California, and we follow the Jodes to California through... Looking for a better life. Yeah, through a bunch of trials. It's, mm-hmm. uh, it's an epic book. Um, they got turned into a movie in 1940. I looked it up. Yeah. Uh, okay. 19, 1940, starring Henry Fonda. It's mm-hmm. uh, probably you're probably aware of it. Yeah. It's the grapes around. How about we get into it? Books. I need them unplugged, baby. Books. I need them unplugged now. No, let's do it. Let's do it. What, Dan? Yeah. Dan, what? 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 What do you love? What do you love about the grapes around? Movie or book? Whatever it is. Uh, what I love about the book is uh, those short chapters. That kind of like bring in the world view or how other people are feeling, you know, besides just the Jodes. I thought those were great. Like the uh yeah. the car dealership guy. It's yeah. like I felt like that was like the the birth of the smarmy used car dealership dude right there. You know? Uh, the turtle? The turtle? The like turtle. right away you're like, What's with this turtle? turtle? And then you realize like, oh man. Yeah, yeah those yeah. are great. But like once you get to it, you're just like, Oh, beautiful. Um I, I think I felt it just just the way he wrote it, it was just so, it just flowed so nicely. And uh, I, my note here was that uh, Steinbeck could have worked with Elaine at uh, the J.P. Uh, J. Peterman uh, catalog book. He could have, he could have, uh, you know, you know. He would, have been a, he would have been an excellent copywriter. Yeah. Yeah. How about you? Um, I actually had to write down a couple because I thought we might overlap. So I okay. didn't have that one on there. But um, the theme of it ain't nobody. Like... Who do I shoot? Oh, yeah. Right? Like, uh-huh. so their land gets taken, right? And they're, like, mad at the guy in the tractor. So they're, like, well, I'll shoot the guy in the tractor. And they're, like, you can't shoot him. He's just working for a, he's just working for the for the guy that owns the land. And he's, like, well, I'll shoot the guy that owns the land. And they're, like, well, no one guy owns the land. It's, like, a bunch of people that own the land. And, you know, they bought it through the bank. Well, I'll shoot the guy at the bank. You can't shoot the guy at the bank. He's yeah. not doing it. He's the guy that works at the bank. Like, who, who do I shoot? Yeah. Where do I get my revenge? Who yeah. did this to me? Who yeah. did this to all of us? And there's yeah. no... Yeah. There's company no back answer. east, but the company back east is just uh, yeah. two of the shareholders. It's, I just think that's cool. I think that's... And, I mean, anyway, let's, so, so uh, let's move on and go to the hate. Is there anything... I, I do have a, a bit of a major hate okay. uh, for cool. this one. Good. Again, like you, my, my notes are a little thick. Uh-huh. So <laughs> I'm just going to have to... I'm going to have to read for here. It's kind of a long book. Kind of a long book. Uh, for all the talk about standing up for people and the sympathy for the downtrodden uh, and Casey's concern for, you know, the, the people's well-being, um, the Jodes just kind of let their retarded son walk off <laughs> down the river. <laughs> He's like, oh, I don't want to be on the road anymore there, brother. Like, no. All right. Go. Go on. Fine. Fuck you. They do kind of let Noah just roam off. Yeah, and he, he was, probably died like thirty minutes later. He probably like uh, he fell in the water it. and like drowned. And and and, the, and then the father just like, yeah, that's my fault because what did he like Ugh. squeeze his head too much or something when he was born? <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. I was like, that was uh, you know, that's nice, Dan. You have a you have sympathy for the for the for the handicap. That's nice. <laughs> so uh, I have a major hate, mm-hmm. uh, and I think I, I, this is a little meta, I guess, but. I hate that the story has to exist at all and that it's so pertinent to everything that happens now. Like, you can read this book and be like, yeah, it's still exactly like that. Like, nothing is oh, nothing has changed. Yeah. Like, you know, he writes the book to try to ch- kind of change the world, right? And yeah, and the treatment of farm workers and yeah. all that kind of stuff is yeah. a little bit better. But nobody got their land back. And no, they, there's, no. most of those families are probably still... And then, and then how still... do you refer... How, how do people today usually refer to... 
everyone who had to move out, Okies, which is supposed to be a slanderous term towards the people, but like even nowadays, like, oh, those Okies. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's still essentially, you know, Okies roaming around this this country. I mean, yeah. it just it depends on the industry. But yeah, I just hate that. It sucks. It yeah. sucks. You know, you read this book and you get a lot of sympathy for people, but the, you know, most there's still people that are in exactly the same situation in yeah. this in this country, in the yeah. modern era, and that sucks. Yeah. It yeah. sucks. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. I hate that. Let's yeah. put uh, 60 seconds on the clock, All shall right. we? All right. I'm gonna have to grab my notes. And for we're this gonna one. do our major I... or minor loves and hates speed round. We won't go Just more than things. It was under 60 seconds. The speed yeah. speed round yeah. is always Let me see under what I got 60 here. seconds. I think I might. Oh no. Okay. All right. I'm all so good. So these are little things, minor things that we love or hate about the story. Oh. So uh, let's do it, man. Go all ahead. Right. Get started, right. Dan. Um, my love uh, in the movie is uh, Tom. You know, right on. He he finds the family. You know, at, at their uncle's house, they show up. Everyone's happy to see Tom, but they just give him a handshake. Hey, good to see you. I say, oh, has it been seven years? Oh, good to see you, son. Good to see you, son. <laughs> no hugs, man. <laughs> no hugs. Jokes no, don't no hug. Hugs. I didn't. I didn't put that together, but that's 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 nice. I uh, I love Tom's introduction. Yeah. Like, the way that they put it together is it's short, it's sweet, and it tells you. Everything you need to know about Tom. Uh -huh. He tricks a guy, so smart, yeah. but kind of hiding behind the... Oh, it's yeah. wonderful. It works well in the movie, too. Yeah, great in the movie, too. Yeah. Uh, I hate, in the, in the movie, that Preacher Casey it looks like he's the same age as, as Tom Joad, but yet he's supposed to be way older. Like, he baptized him and stuff as a kid, but they look like the same age. They do. They yeah. do. Um, I, uh, I love... Casey's fall from grace into like a more realistic approach at religion. He's reluctant. He's like yeah. a reluctant teacher of religion, essentially an atheist. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if he, if if uh, uh, Tom Joad had not run into Casey, I mean, I think that would have probably really changed his trajectory a little bit. Oh, it. it I mean, yeah. Casey basically. Casey just really gets into Tom Joad's head right away. Uh -huh. Tom's head. I don't know. You don't have to use his last name. Yeah. Tom's head. Yeah. Um, and yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, I love uh, the character of Ma in, in the book and in the movie. Yeah. That, that actress who played Ma. She did Ma, a great job. Oh, I mean, and she uh, and Ma is clearly the smartest Jode of the family. I, I love. You know. I love that Tom can draw birds. <laughs> Tom can. Tom can draw birds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I want another one. I want another one. I love. Um, uh, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. No, I want uh, another one. All right, all right. Uh, no, go ahead. I hate at, at times this. Oh, I, I made this other reference. I, I must be really hating The Walking Dead. But there was times in the book where it's just like not a lot happens. Not a lot. I could, you know, some people complain about that. And then boom, you know, they're they're in that passway, and then like the lady's hand gets shot off, and you know, and then <laughs> yeah. like nothing happens for like eighty pages, and then you know. Something else kind of happens, but uh, the it's, pacing it's, just... It's no Rambo. It's no Rambo, yeah. <laughs> but like I said, that's just a minor hate. It's just a minor I hate. Love, uh, I love that if you need help, you go to poor people, because yeah. they're the only ones that are going to help you. Yeah. I hated Uncle John. I thought, I thought he was a total <laughs> piece of shit. He was holding on to that $5 yeah, forever, I you know? And it's like, uh, you know, he just wanted to run off and get drunk. And it's like probably is his fault that his wife died. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I uh, I love I love in the in in the book, not in the movie. Yeah. In the book, the way that Ruthie and Winfield talk. Oh yeah. The way the, the way the kids talk. Here's the thing: I like those kids in yeah, the book I, and the movie. Yeah, I like I'd like them. to see those kids fight the kids from Jurassic Park, <laughs> like a cage match. That, that would be, be no contest. <laughs> those kids from Jurassic Park. Jones would eat them alive. Right, those those kids. <laughs> <laughs> Those kids wouldn't last a minute with the Jodes, man. Oh, we're out of time. Oh, was it 59 seconds yeah. and 59? Yeah. yeah. Oh, just made it. Right. Uh, so we got to do, uh, was it in the book? Books to Boing, Book into Boing, and Books to Boing. Oh, All right. man. This is going to oh, be a hard some, quiz. I got some stumpers for you, man. All right. I got so many stumpers for you. You go. I'm going to eat a grape. All right. Um, so was it in the book, Ma going through her trinkets and her earrings and her stuff and trying to pick what to, what oh, to bring along. Oh, that's a good one. I think that was in the book. It was. It yeah. was. Nice work. Uh -huh. Nice, uh -huh. excellent, excellent job. Thank you. Thank you. Was it in the book when Tom shows up, everyone asking him if he busted out of jail? 
Yeah, that's, that's the. They that's all the assume they, they're not the gonna give him the hog, then they assume he busted out of jail. You bust out? It's just like it's not even. Yeah. It's more like a rhetorical question. And I was like, like, I was like, did it make you mad? Did it make you mad? You tell me. Yeah, but that's in the book too. Yeah. It takes some nerve crossing the desert in a jalopy like that. Oh, from those uh, the 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 gas station guys. Yeah, the gas yeah. station guys. Yeah, that's in it. That's in it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, those gas station guys, those guys are still around today, those type of people. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, of yeah. course they are. Uh, was it in the book? The cop looking at the at the shot lady and was like, oh, yeah, those 45s make a bit of a mess. Yeah. No. 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 It's, oh. uh, the, the, the lady gets shot, but it's slightly different in the, in, in the, All right. in the movie. You got in the me. movie, they, they say that. You got me. How about, uh, how about the toilet breaking scene when they get to the camp? The government camp. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's in there. It's in there. It's different. It's it's uh-huh. more charming and more in depth in the book, but it's definitely in there. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, was it in the book? Uh, oh yeah, no. You took it. Toilets. Okay, uh, so uh, I got a stumper for you. All right. I'm gonna change this. Okay. I didn't tell you in advance, but was it in the movie? Mm. Uh huh. Okay. Uh-huh. Noah going walkabout down the river. <laughs> oh really? Noah. Yeah. Is Noah in the movie at all? I... Noah's not in the movie. No, no, that's right. <laughs> He's not in the movie. Oh my gosh! I didn't even think about it. Yeah, they skip him. That's why <laughs> I put this in there, because it's like, there's a whole person that's gone. Muley Graves I... <sighs> Impromptu Rabbit Feast. You think I'm touched? Tom, you think I'm touched, touched? Tom? Oh, Is that yeah. in the movie? Yeah. No, it's not, right. not in the movie. Kathy's Atheism. Is that in the movie? No. It's not. Yeah, it's yeah, not in the movie. Yeah. They skip it. Casey's, uh-huh. Casey's basically a preacher in the yeah. like I get it, it's nineteen forty, but mm-hmm. he's pretty much yeah. there's a, a lot of I guess the point of doing that, even mm-hmm. though I didn't tell you I was gonna do it, is the edge yeah. of the book is yeah. really softened. Like really, really softened in the movie. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. what's uh, we're gonna talk about the best bit, right? Well let's I think Yo, let's, you got let's more. go to no, I don't have more, but I think it would be interesting if we went to uh what were they thinking? Just okay. based on what we we're just talking about now. Okay. Best Man, bit. This is a long. This is a long read. I'm gonna yeah. read. It. I'm gonna read it fast. Right. I'm gonna so micro this is, machine this. So this is. Uh, what were they thinking? And this is uh, oh, Muley. Yeah. Muley. Muley. Muley Graves. Uh, talking about what happened to his farm and such. You can you can take that. So. It's <laughs> <laughs> fine. Uh, all right. So Muley Graves thinking. Uh, the man sitting in the iron seat did not look like a man. Gloved, goggled, rubber, rubber dust mask over his nose and mouth. He was part of the monster, a robot in the seat. The thunder of the cylinder sounded, sounded through the country, became one with the air and the earth, so that the earth and the air mother, muttered in sympathetic vibration. The driver could not control it. Straight across the country it went, cutting through a dozen farms and straight back. A twitch at the controls could swerve the cat, but the driver's hands could not twitch because the monster that built the tractor, the monster that sent the tractor out, had somehow got into the driver's hands, into his brain and muscle, had goggled him and muzzled him, goggled his mind, muzzled his speech, goggled his perception, muzzled his protest. He could not see the land as it was. He could not smell the land as it smelled. His feet did not stamp the clods or feel the warmth and power of the earth. He sat in an iron seat and stepped on iron pedals. He could not cheer or beat or curse or encourage the extension of his power. And because of this, he could not cheer or whip or curse or encourage himself. He did not know or own or trust or beseech the land. If a seed dropped, did it, did, if a seed dropped, did not germinate, it was nothing. If the young thrusting plant withered in a drought or drowned in a flood of rain, it was no more to the driver than to the tractor. He loved the land no more than the bank loved the land. He could admire the tractor, its machine surfaces, its surge of power, the roar of its detonating cylinders, but it was not plowing, but it was not plowing, but surgery. Oh, whoa, hold on. But it was not his tractor. Behind the tractor, <laughs> behind the tractor rolled the shining discs, cutting the earth with blades, not plowing, but surgery, pushing to cut the earth to the right where the second row of discs cut and pushed it to the left, slicing blades, shining, Polished by the cut earth. That's. that's a, I screwed that up, but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's, You'll forgive me. That's what he was thinking. Books unplugged. Adaptation for your delectation. Now, I, my best bit is uh, 
in the movie is where Ma, uh, where Ma's like picking the little things. I think that's really nice. It's really yeah. touching, and that actress is phenomenal. Um, I think, uh, I, yeah, I think I, I was gonna say just as an aside. I uh-huh. think what's his name, the preacher Casey guy, uh-huh. was nominated for an Academy Award for that. Oh, was he? Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. he did a great job. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, I love that scene where she's picking the things because I just feel like that's really human. I feel like. I feel like that's that's the, that's what you would do, and I can relate to her in that moment because it's like, well, I can, you know, do I need these earrings? Like, right, just yeah. little bitty things that she's picking mm-hmm. out. Yeah. Like, I'll leave this and I'll take. And the this. funny thing is, like, all that stuff was so small; she could have easily kept all, all of that, kept it in a little box. Yeah, you know. But no, she's but no, she was still going through. What's the important stuff? I like that. What's your, what's your best bet? Oh. Uh, my best thing is uh, part of what we just read. That whole yeah. there's a little bit more to that scene the, where, where he's telling the story. In the in, book? In the book, yeah. Okay. And then, I did the movie first. Okay. And, uh, well, mine's, mine's just uh, best, but best my bit. favorite part is, 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 the, that. is the book. Okay. Yeah, is that part in the book where, like, even the tractor driver takes off his goggles and they're like, oh, it's, you know, whatever, Floyd from, you know, five miles down. And he's like, hey, I got to support my family. Yeah. I get three bucks a day or whatever for doing that, you know. <laughs> but the whole, that whole trajectory, you know, I, I just really like that. Um, and even going into that, who gave the order, like you were talking about in the beginning, you know, it was very, that kind of very Kafka. That's part of, yeah, like, that's part, yeah, you know. it is, it is, it's almost funny. I mean, it's depressing, but it's, it's almost, yeah. it's almost funny. Yeah. So my favorite bit of the book, um, and if you're, uh, don't want to be, have the book spoiled for you, mm. uh, if you read the book, by all means, keep listening. If you haven't, you, you might want to, you might want to stop, uh, the end. Yeah. This book Wraps up better than any book I've ever read. I mean, the Grapes of Wrath, the end of the Grapes of Wrath, where they lose the baby, uh-huh. but Rosa Sharn was pregnant, so she's still creating milk, and she yeah. she breastfeeds like a 50-year-old man yeah. because he's going to die if he doesn't mm-hmm. get milk. Yeah. And it's like, I mean, you know, talk about, mm-hmm. like, if you need help, go to poor people, right? Yeah. Like, that's, the your book ends, and you're just, I mean, that stuck, mm-hmm. it sticks with you. Bookity, bookity, book, some plant. Should have okay. been there, man. Uh-huh. It should have been in the movie. This is my, when you brought up the should have been there, I had one idea that came up immediately, and it was for okay. uh, for this one. It's when Tom Joad meets that, uh, meets that junkyard guy because they're looking for parts, and he chews them out. For being like lazy <laughs> and letting the boss yeah, like yeah. walk over oh. and stuff, he's like, "Come on!" Oh, that's so good. He's like, he just just berates the hell out of the guy. Oh, that's so good. What's yeah. wrong with the guy? He's got a problem that he's well, moping he, about. He had like some type of limp or something. Was his eye missing or something? Yeah, something like. Oh that. no! It's his, he's, got, he's got no patch on an eye that's missing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's like, "Oh, what do you need sympathy for that for?" And Put like, a patch on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I was like, "Oh man, that was." That oh, was, that's a great scene. That was the the, the yeah, crux sure. for for my other. They didn't have the special effects. If they did a it's modern a, one, there'd be a little wiggly <laughs> tendon where the eye was supposed to be. Oh, yeah. God, God, cover up that damn eye. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? What about you? Uh, well, I I got two. I'm sorry, but the the end, the yeah. the, the, the the breastfeeding scene should have been there. I mean, should have been there. Like yeah. to end it any other way, I get yeah. the Tom Ma. Uh, whenever you see, it's more thematic or yeah, whatever. Yeah. But that ending, why uh-huh. remove it anyway? Right. But is my secondary because I kind of get why it's not there because it's a little, you know, edgy. Uh-huh. Uh, Ruthie cursing all the time, man. Those kids <laughs> just cursing. Both of them just constant <laughs> stream of swear words coming out of those kids. I love mouths. those kids. Those oh, kids they're are great. great. They're oh. great. Oh, that's what you want in a movie. It's just swearing children. <laughs> yeah. just, you know. Yeah, and then they... Yeah, they Jurassic Park. I, yeah, they, oh, those Jurassic Park kids yeah. were... Even just, when they see, like, the little candy cane in there, like, is that one of the one-cent candies? They're like, yeah, it is, kid, go right ahead. They're like, ah! Oh, that's nice. That waitress is nice. Yeah. Them, them's the ten-cent candies. Those truckers were nice. I like how they set that whole thing up with the... Which was one of those in-between things. The cook, you know? It was, like, making the perfect cool. burger. That was cool. And stuff, and he's like, give them the bread. The, uh, so there's a couple songs. There's the Ballad of Tom Joad. Uh, Bruce Springsteen. Part, the Bruce Springsteen. Yeah. Um, and we listened to them both. So what did you think of uh, the Springsteen song? Um, I, at first, I liked the Springsteen song better than Woody Guthrie's. Okay. But I can then see I read 
that Springsteen never read the book before writing the song. I think it's... And hadn't even seen... The, maybe had I seen think, the movie. I think that's clear. Because he did, the song doesn't have much to do with Oh, Tom well, Jones. he just got the ghost of Tom Jones, which is really cool and stuff it's like cool. that. Yeah. yeah, it's cool. And as a song goes, yeah. like, if I'm going to sit back and listen to something, I'm... Yeah. It's, I'm oh, yeah, it. I mean, obviously, Woody Guthrie tells the whole story. He tells story. the whole story. He tells the whole story. Tells the whole story really well. Really? I mean, yeah. it's two parts, mm -hmm. and it's just... He just yeah. picks the perfect little... He just distills it down. Yeah. And oh, it, and then Bruce Springsteen plays with, like, the guy from uh, Rage Against the Machine or, some, or, yeah, or something yeah. like that. And I was like, oh, him? And then I was just like... Oh, yeah, no. yeah, I mean... Yeah. It's, so I went back to Woody Guthrie, which I preferred that Yeah, one. no, I, I always... I mean, I love Woody yeah. Guthrie and there's the Dust You would Bowl. think Springsteen would have time to, like, read a book. Yeah, you I, guess, know, I guess not. Before writing a song about it. Or did the... Rage Against the Machine you, guy. How, I don't know. I don't understand how you can grow up in this country and not read that book. Yeah. Know. Anyway, uh, but yeah, to me that Guthrie song is masterful. The whole he's got an album called The Dust Bowl Ballads or something like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, those are all. They're all outstanding. Yeah. I mean, they're 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 really like it's a slice of that era. You really like. I think that's as far as like a piece of written work goes. I would mm -hmm. say that that album or that those songs as a chunk are. You know, arguably, is as big and important as as the Grapes of Wrath. I yeah. mean, it's really like, I mean, if you do both. Yeah. And, well, Guthrie was in it. I mean, he was traveling those he roads. Watched, he lost he watched, his house. He watched and, the movie. There's a quote from Guthrie about how like this mu this movie is about us. You got to go yeah. see this movie. It's about us. Yeah. You know, and it's like you know, so it, yeah, he was he was out there looking for jobs, going down those roads and and stuff. You know, living with those people. Yeah. Even killing fascists with his machine. <laughs> Folks unplugged, which would you destroy? So, um, which would we, which would you destroy? Yeah, the, yeah, the movie. The movie. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, yeah. I mean, you know. Yeah, you know, this is an obvious one. You yeah. can't, you, I mean, the uh, Grapes of Wrath is one of the best I, I love those, like I said, those in-between chapters, I thought were, were really great. It's like, at first, you're reading them, you don't know why they're there. And then, like, you get to, like, the next chapter. And it's not right at the beginning. It's a little bit later into it. And then you're like... Oh, and it just connects, and it's just usually a big gut wrenching, you know, emotional connection type of thing. Yeah, you know. Ah, the books, 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 a masterpiece. Um, One of the best books. I mean, yeah, I had, I had a couple things here I wrote down for notes about it that I wanted to share. That because uh, there were so many great lines in that book. Yeah, let's hear them. You know, what do you got? Uh, uh, love the line. We become servants of our property. Ooh. You know, I mean, think about that back then and now. I know. We're, we're slaves to our property now. <laughs> um, I love, uh, there ain't no sin, ain't no virtue. It's just what people do, does. That's the preacher Casey. Yeah, that's, uh, where does courage come from? Where does, it, uh, where does terrible faith come from? Ooh. You know, only his possessions are big and uh, he's, uh, oh, the rest of that was only his possessions are big and he is a servant to uh, his property. That's nice. It was, was the rest of it, so. Yeah. Well, uh, thanks for joining us yeah. for Books Unplugged presents to you the grapes of wrath. Yeah. Um, I, I got to eat some grapes. Yeah. And if you haven't read that book, you should. It's and, good. And if you've never had a grape, they're delicious. They're really, really quite good. All right. I'm going to go grab some more grapes. Check you later. And, uh, oh, you know what? Before we go... I want to say one more thing, that I like this book so much, I came up with a sequel for Grapes of Wrath. Oh, I'm excited to hear about it. It's called Grapes of Wrath 2, The Revenge <laughs> of Tom Joad. It's kind of a cross between John Wick <laughs> and Kill Bill. And Tom Joad's going to go out, and he's going to find the banker, He's going to find those... He's going to just kill everybody. Like, who do, you, kill who do you kill? Yeah. Everybody. everybody. <laughs> the car dealership, <laughs> the gas station people, yeah. the guy at the bank, the company back east, they're all going to fucking get it. That's... Yeah. I, I think, mean, no one's asking for a sequel to Grapes of Red. No, I, I think you're wrong. I think you're wrong. Oh, I, think yeah, that's okay. a, I think that's a Hollywood pitchable idea. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So oh. you might we, I mean, we might share that video. So, yeah, if, uh, yeah, if we do, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll make... We'll make... We'll make a... Make a sequel. Maybe, 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 maybe make a trailer. Maybe. maybe yeah. You snip it. Yeah, snip yeah. it. Uh, all right. Well, stay tuned for the, the Revenge of Tom Joad. Yeah. Adios. Thank you. <coughs> here, you want here? here? You ready? Uh-huh. Oh, hey, I got something! 
Ed and Dan would like to thank you for joining them on Books Unplugged, page to screen and all that's in between. If you like the vibe, please like and subscribe. Like lazy <laughs> and let the boss yeah, like yeah. walk over oh. and stuff. He's like, come on! Ba-ba-do-ba-ba-do-ba. Ba.